you locked in with a match with uh, Dennis Saplankov if you beat Gennady? Because I've heard rumors that uh, in October that uh, you'll be pulling him if you win against Gennady. Is this true? It's very likely. Nothing's locked in. Okay. Now, um, there's a couple. Yeah, sorry. There's a couple matches that are potentials that are coming up. I got nothing, nothing locked in except for Gennady at the moment. Okay. Now, how does that match go with uh, Dennis Saplankov? You know, what do you expect from him after seeing his last performance against John Brzezink? You know, now he's got all this time to, to train up and all. Are you nervous at all? Oh, yeah. Dennis is, uh, I mean, last time I wrestled Dennis, he totally destroyed me. Totally destroyed me. But that was a uh, left arm, correct? Yep. Yep. But you can't, you can't help but remember. Yeah. You can't help but remember a beating like that. Uh, I, uh, my right is definitely better than my left by, by a lot. But I also know that Dennis is only training his right now. People talk about Dennis. Oh, he's not peak form, Dennis. To me, I watch Dennis. I think the arm wrestles a whole lot better than he used to. A whole lot better. I think his style has improved. Uh, I've always been impressed with uh, Dennis's gamesmanship. I think he's a very smart guy. Very smart. Very calculated. Anytime Dennis makes a move, I feel like he's definitely thought about it. So that that's uh, very concerning. I, I know that Dennis, if he accepts a match, he believes he can win. And Dennis's assessment is, is rarely incorrect. Rarely. Uh, I will happily take the match. Very happily. It's a very meaningful match for me. Um, one that I will try to win, uh, of course. Um, is this kind of like a payback? You know, you're trying to get your revenge for what he did to you against the left arm? Look, I mean, I don't like to use the word revenge, but Dennis Saplankov is such an icon in the sport. I mean, it's super meaningful for me to get to arm wrestling. Like, I hold him in such high regard that it's, it's a meaningful part of my life to get to face him it's not like oh i get to go arm wrestle dennis no it's like there are these tests that you do and like when you look back at your life there are moments that can like define your whole existence <laughs> you know for me an interaction with dennis is a moment like this you know so it's very meaningful um so if it gets to happen uh and i do think it will it's it's a very big deal for me. I think I can beat him. I do. I also think the guy is a titan. So, you know, would yeah. you train? Uh, would you train any different for him? Arm wrestling has become very simple for me. I uh, I believe that over the course of the thirty years of competitive arm wrestling that I've done, and through the injuries, and through you know the evaluations, and I, I believe that. I understand the formula. Like I, I understand how to arm wrestle and it's not, it's no trickery. It's no nothing. There's, there's a checklist. There's a, there's a point of entry. And, and from there that the match will flow. I have no doubt that I can flow with anyone. I, I think that I can make adjustments and make the correct decisions as well as anybody can. Um, my training will probably not change much. I believe that I have to fight him in one place. If I can defeat him in that area, I will completely destroy him because I do not believe that he can arm wrestle better than I can. So if he's on the losing side of the wall, he, it will get worse and worse for him very quickly. There is a small chance, a small chance that uh, I can out arm wrestle him from a losing position as well. There is a good chance of that. So he will, he will have to be stronger than me, which I, I believe he likely will be. It will come down to my arm wrestling ability, my health, my resilience. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the match. It's already, it's, it's, it's definitely hot, but I can't think about it too much. I have a very worthy opponent in like seven weeks. Yeah. So one of uh, the subscribers asked, um, 
Do you think you could outlast Dennis if both you guys go into a king's move? Man, nobody breathes better than me. <laughs> nobody. I like that answer. And uh, do you consider uh, Dennis being uh, the top two or three in the world right now? Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely in that list. Yeah. It's a small group. You know, you have, you got obviously Levon, you got obviously Hermes, and then you have a, a, a group of people who's up there. Uh, Dennis is definitely in that group right up there, right up there with Hermes nipping at his heels. Maybe he's already there. He's very close. Okay. There's that group beneath that number two spot, number three spot, heavily contended heavily contended yeah he's in there the other yeah. question they ask is uh would you come in with a shaved head against dennis oh yeah against dennis probably shaved head unless i got something really good going on but i mean he's definitely an, an all-in kind of guy yeah 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 <laughs>